Peter Berling, helmsman on starboard tack on Emirates Team New Zealand. Pete, uh, five hours of sailing today, the longest day on the water so far with different kind of objectives. Could you describe a little bit which were? Yeah, well, it's obviously we haven't had the AC40 in Barcelona for very long, so you know, it's a sailing team. It's an amazing opportunity to go out and get comfortable in some you know, quite different conditions what we sailed the 40 in in New Zealand, yeah, and also the combination of the um, race director, you know, Ian Murray, and his, the rest of the team uh, trying to introduce the race management system into the boat. So, you know, today we had a, a little bit of downtime, you know, just trying to do drills for the race officers and race management system, media systems, trying to get everything working and um, you know, be a test platform for them and then also try and have our own training. So, yeah, long down the water, but, you know, very productive. From the sailor's side, uh, <coughs> how is it going with the race management system and uh, with the robotic marks and with the functionality of everything? Are you happy so far, or did you have any any difficulties? Yeah, it's been amazing to see the progression of the systems over the three days. Um, you know, from virtually everything getting bolted on the boat um, under a week ago to you know testing the systems for the first time. You know, every day we've had huge steps forward. There's obviously uh, still a little bit to go, but you know it's been amazing to see the progression so far. And when talking about performance today, we did two fleet races. On the first one. Uh, a solid lead and, and win. On the second one, a start on Port Tuck with a very different strategy to most of the other teams. Could you give some details about it? Why why you decided to do that and if it was... Uh, <coughs> yeah, the, the first start we had, you know, we thought it was really nice conditions. Um, it was probably nine knots or something like that, so you didn't have to worry too much about the wind shadows. You could kind of maneuver anywhere. And we did a nice job putting the boat in a good spot. And then uh, the second one, we actually ended up well, almost coming off the foil in a a manoeuvre um, about five minutes out to the start and, and barely made it back in time so now we're right on the, the back foot the whole way okay. um, and yeah it was hard to get back into the race but no, it definitely wasn't really our intention to start on port but we just got you know, a little bit too late um, Yeah, and that dying breeze I think you saw everyone apart from Prada off the foil at the end and not actually finishing the race so no, it's pretty tricky when it gets below that seven knots um, to keep these boats going especially when you're crossing the, the wind shadows um, but yeah it's Great practice, you know, those are super tough conditions and you now we're really excited to, to be out there racing uh, other teams. Then after all the other teams left, we stayed uh, training for at least 45 more minutes doing some tucks and some dives in a dying breeze, maybe around 3.5 to 4 knots of intensity. Uh, do you believe uh, maneuvers in those kind of conditions are very critical and important? Yeah, well obviously those conditions you can do a maneuver in lighter air than you can take off. So. Now it's incredibly important you don't make the mistake in the manoeuvre, you keep foiling. Um, and for us, you know, we haven't had the opportunity to do much time in that super light stuff. So, you know, to be able to actually try a few things that we'd been talking about throughout the day and um, put them into practice is, uh, you know, incredibly valuable. So, you now we're really happy with the, the day, you know, the way we've evolved through it. And, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun little period trying to figure out how to get a bit more speed out of the, the AC40s before Villanova. OK, thank you very much.